Ladies and gentlemen, YouTubers, welcome to another session of JoJo's GG's. We're going to be doing a replay video now. And just before it begins, I just want you to look carefully at our team composition. So we've got cavalry, javelins, spears. This is our only infantry. More javelins, more javelins. So that's nine javelins with three infantry. Lots of cav though, lots and lots of cav, and two tier 10 elephants. Now, what you're going to see, what's very important, is these tier 10 elephants will basically do nothing for most of the game. And the fight will be taken on with one infantry, the cav, and all these javelins. So on the enemy team, what have we got to deal with? So the enemy's got infantry, tier 10 elephants, one of them only. More infantry, archers, that's two with one spear. And they've got Leo Spears as well, with Javelins. Two sets of Javelins, Tier 10 and 9. So a fairly even match in terms of the infantry. Unless, of course, you count the elephants. But remember, these elephants here are going to go in that direction, as you'll see. And ours, uh, one of them will be AFK with most of the match, and the other one will linger, basically. So, what do you do in a situation where you have basically the only infantry in the game? And you're dealing with nine Javelins, or six on the team, at least. Well... You go for choke points. So that's what we do here. We decide to push here, take the tower, limit the choke points with the javelin players we have. Now, at the early start of the game, during the uh, spawn positions, he we signaled for him to come join us. So he does realize this is the only infantry imp we have. So I make the move to... Uh, okay, we're going to send the javelins up here. Cav is going to go up from behind with even more cav. They see what's coming, so they're going to set up a defense to try and stop us. Now, I send one, two spears here, but this spear basically joins with the other javelins. Now, let's look at the other team for a second. So now, because they've seen us at the watchtower, they're basically going to try and set up a defense. So they've got tier 9 javelins here. Tier 9 dogs with the Leo spears going to try and flank us from here. With javelins and archers and some infantry as well. There are some more javelins coming in. So they, they do have the firepower to deal with us. And here they first see us. Now here's the important bit. We're going to switch back to our team. At this point, we don't know what they have. We haven't seen it yet. And if we look over here. Okay, elephants are about to fight. There's nothing really interesting happening. These guys are still AFK, as I, as I called it. Cavalry is kind of playing in the mid. But at this point, we just have loads of javelins. And we do not know what we're dealing with yet. At top, cavalry is making their way back around. Which is what we want. Now, we're just going to switch to be able to select a unit. And at this point here, watch what happens. We're going to slow it down. We see that volley come in. Instantly, we know we they have archers. So, push. That was the call. Push. He's already moving forward. I saw the cab. We spotted very quickly what they had here. And I see a spear, but I did also see the dogs and the spears up there when we got the uh, the tower. See right here? Bam. Okay, we know they got the spears, and we know they got the dogs. So I said, I'm going to put one unit here to defend, one unit here to defend here, while these javelins push in with these spears here. So as we're watching it, the um, archers are shooting a bit of uh, the javelins, but obviously they do have raised shields, and they should have it raised. Yes, they do indeed. So we're going into a defensive position, one unit down here, one unit pushing, one unit here. It, had they had one cavalry unit at the back, that would be the end of us, basically. So we're going to speed up to normal now, because it does go very, very quick. Here's the interesting bit. So now, we have the archers and javelins retreating. Where is the rest of their infantry? They th seem to think that maybe there's a push coming in mid. There isn't. That's the mistake they did. See, there's all this firepower. They saw what was coming here, because they had the flag to begin with, but they didn't commit they basically hang back thinking maybe there was a, a, a mid push or something but they saw most of the units the only thing they didn't see maybe was the elephants but they saw all the cab and they saw they're just two units they hadn't seen two units is not enough to hold mid you know they would have pushed by now these guys should have been here supporting at least very least the the uh, the range now what's gonna what's gonna happen slowly cab sees an opportunity comes in bam Javelins, huge hit. Another charge in, <laughs> same time, didn't even have time to see it. Bam, archers hit. Okay, so here we are with one infantry here, one at the back, six javelins, three javelins on top, because he was going to go down as well. And I said, no, stay up here and hold this. 
while I have one spear basically doing the damage. So now they're in they're in a mess. They're they're in big trouble because their their retreat to gain their range advantage with their archers is completely gone. Because now they've got six javelins that are close up because the calves got to charge in. And that's the archers like half dead or almost dead. Infantry decided to come in. Javelins, I do not know why these guys don't decide to take the fight. But basically now these guys are pushing hard. Now we see this infantry coming here. So instantly, see instantly, I turn my unit to face him. And I think I pop Fanning at this point. Yeah, Fanning's is up. Okay, so now we take a defensive position. We push them hard enough. Like their defensive line that was here and ready to go is here. We basically pushed into their lines and now force them to attack with infantry. So now we go on the defensive, Fanning's, and we hold. Um, it's very important to get to break that line to begin with. But now here come in the, the javelins as well. But they don't really get much of an opportunity because um, they're going to get charged pretty hard with the cavalry. So now this second unit of jabs decide to come in. Support the the six as well because they do have a lot here. Basically, it's triple Leo with fight in the shade and the dogs as well too. So I'm losing my only infantry, but he's holding for now. He's holding while these guys slowly push back. The double jabs try to eliminate what's up here just so our flank is clear. So I decide to leave one unit here and while these guys are all split up, not concentrating on the main force, put pressure on this really. That's what they really need to do. I send, leave one unit here and I send my other unit back to support as the dogs are or kind of slipping, trying to push them from the side. Get in there, do a quick charge and instantly into phalanx, boom. Double protection line. So he's here and he's here defending. Next we have our javelins that are literally eliminating these swords. Nothing they can do. Oh yeah, and the rest of the archers, where are they? They're dead. Not much not much left of them now. So talking about the elephants, like I said, not doing much. Sure, these elephants are fighting these elephants. They are gonna win that fight. But we had basically two tier ten elephant players that did Nothing. This was the entire team fought here, and we were two elephant players down. They had one down as well, but we could have used one elephant uh, even to help disrupt. So back to the fight. Heroes are almost completely dead. Nothing left. Now it's just the infantry to deal with and the javelins. But even them, really, with this many javelins, there isn't much they're going to do. Now he's going to try and run away and get. Watch this. It's a beautiful, beautiful charge. He comes in. He spots them. Perfect opportunity. Comes in for the kill. Bam. Smashed. Just like that. And now basically it's cleanup time. You see the difference in the balance of power. I just set my second unit up to make it easier to route these guys. Still had this one front infantry guy here. Trying to hold off the line. While basically the cav finishes off the remaining javelins here. But the well coordinated push. Hard push as soon as we just saw the archers. And then the cavalry to come and disrupt their retreat was enough to completely decimate this. Also the hesitance of the second troop here as well. And then now, once this is all kind of done, they've got nothing left. <laughs> here come in uh, five tier 10 elephants to uh, clean up the job. There isn't much that can be done at all. But yeah, it's quite an interesting game actually. And then you kind of see here, okay, but now basically there's no real threat. Now we can just push out in peace and kind of clean up. Tier 10 elephants literally just going straight to base. Because nothing can stop that now. All the javelins are dead. Clean up time. He's going to quickly test Tudo. Turn around. He's, he's going to get a charge, I think. Doesn't count a charge. Don't know if he was on cooldown. No, he could have done it. Maybe he's given up. And it's just fannings into him with my other unit. Two quite heavy hits with the infantry. But I mean, if you look at the score as well, you can see the aggression on the cavalry because of the amount of damage he's done. That's well deserved. And then now basically it's cleanup time. So it's just one infantry there. <laughs> A couple archers left. And cavalry. We did have really strong cavalry, cavalry players to support us in this game. But the javelins. It just goes to show, really, you you can make a certain team or composition work as long as you play, and I've said this before, I'll say it again, as long as you play to the unit's strengths. If you have only short-range javelins and one infantry, take a choke point, limit your flanking capabilities, 
and push the enemy hard to close that gap, that range. It doesn't always work. Sometimes they play it smart and they cut you off. But other times it works beautifully like this. And I mean this was, was beautiful the way it worked. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this game. Uh, I know we certainly did uh, when we played this. And expect the next video to be uploaded uh, either Wednesday or Thursday. Thanks for watching, guys. GG. See you in the next one.